Hey folks, well, it's a windy day out here on the Vantage Highway, but we're making progress now, got the mill in tow, but uh, I got to camp out at Ginkgo Petrified Forest State Park, that's about halfway to my customer. Gosh, the wind has really picked up. It's blowing me around, and when I look out ahead, all I see is dust blowing. I don't know if you can hear me in this wind. Holy smokes, it's windy. At least with the legs down on the camper, it stops moving around. But boy, it was moving around a lot. Even the windproof door wasn't that windproof. <laughs> well, that's just part of the road show, folks. You go places and you run into all kinds of things and weather's just one of them. I thought I would come down here and take a look at the river. Now this is really, the Columbia River's dammed up so much that uh, it's really a lake. Got a slight reprieve from the wind here. Wow. That is some crazy wind, but that's eastern Washington. We get a lot of wind, but uh, out that way there, I'll try to show it to you. I don't know if you can see out there. But that is dust. That's a sandstorm. Kind of a nice beach down there. As you can see, that wind is just making a lot of white caps. sandbar in the middle of the river over there. That is crazy. This is what the Sawdust Roadshow is like. I think some people kind of wonder, you know, what it's like to hook up your sawmill to your camper and head out somewhere to go mill and that's all I do. It can be pretty crazy sometimes. You can see the truck right there. Truck and sawmill just barely. I think I'll get back to the truck and Settle in and read a book or something. Surprising how many people are out here camping. Well, looks like bourbon 30, folks. Might as well hide from the wind and read a book. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, well, pretty crazy driving through here. Um, this is the worst place I've ever driven into with the camper and sawmill. Pretty crazy. You can see the lean on that, on that guy's truck down there. Gives you an idea what I'm in for coming down here with the camper. It's crazy.
All right, how about that drive in? Now, what we're doing here is we've just got some ponderosa pine up on the deck and we're just milling it into live edge. I believe we went with inch and five eighths on that one. He's kind of changed his mind a little bit about what he wanted in his live edge stuff and that's okay. That's one of the beauties of running a portable sawmill like this. I can make whatever you want. So if the customer changes their mind, maybe they're doing an inch and an eighth one day, an inch the next, and two and an eighth the next day, it doesn't matter to me. I just set the mill up to know what they want, and I can change on the fly, and that's what I do. And, and Brett's been a great customer. This was maybe my ninth or tenth time out to, to his location. Beautiful location, really tough to get into. But, uh, and how about that windstorm coming in? It actually blew the pilot light out on my refrigerator in the camper and I didn't know it and it drained the batteries all the way down and just about killed them so talk about some serious adventures here we definitely had some all right folks thanks for watching and while I'm at it I got another video right here for you if you like that one check this next one out y'all have a great weekend you'll jar it out